We used to go to dances and have card parties and uh, we used to go to uh, bingos and go out to, in the evenings to a family fairs and have dinner and we used to go ball on to have a wonderful time. My aunt, uh, on my mother's side, had bought a Victrola. And you could wind it up, and it had, but it, it had records on the, the records was like a cylinder. You push them on, on the, uh, the cylinder, and it was round by the size of a water glass. And it was, uh, so when she got tired of the Victoria, she gave it to us. Pick blackberries and all and come in and we used to can together. And when I mean, people killed home, she liked the uh, chitlings. And the people would bring her the hogs just as they uh, guttled them. And she would have the ch uh, chitlings and we'd have to go and we'd have to clean them. And then she I used to have them and we used to go to the dances together and we'd go to parties together. And we used to always have a lot of fun. There wasn't no socializing, only they had dances at the church hall and at St. Jerome's Hall, which was a sedality. So that was a, a insurance thing, mutual benefit or something that they had, and um, and then they had house parties, which is what, they, what we call house parties, had parties at people's houses. And she, they used to have, have dinners, and then we grill. And then my sister had a, I was having a cooking feast, and she invited, you know, we invite the people that wanted to come to them. And I went up there that day, and uh, so put the one quilt in the frame, and uh, her little grandchildren was throwing their uh, needles for us. And uh, 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, nobody come, nobody there but me. So I said, oh, where's your people that you had the quilt feast? You ain't got nobody here. She said, you here, ain't you? <laughs> and that's another thing that they had, uh, they would call run-ins and they would tell one person in the family that they were coming to their house that night to have a party. <laughs> and everybody, be, they'd wait until everybody would go to bed. And then they'd come in, bring the refreshments and the music and everything and start playing, playing music. But the children would be in bed. I guess that was the purpose of waiting late out and they would be down there dancing and, and uh, having uh, whatever kind of drinks they, they had. I guess they had that bootleg stuff too and have uh, eggnog and lemonade and, and homemade wine and stuff like that and cake. I used to do housework. I didn't work in a place only over there at the rectory. For the first days, shortly after I was married, about four years, I started a day's work. And I, they were paying 50 cents a day. After our son died, and I was spending more time crying than I was doing anything else, I wasn't working. So I went and, and signed up on the base. I started to work in the 40s and I ended in the 70s. I worked in the civil service until uh, the house was built over here by the time that we had saved up enough money for the house to be built over here. And just, just at that time, that's the time I was laid off. So I, uh, I didn't go to work anymore for a while. When I started working, I was getting 50 cents a day. And when I stopped working, I was getting $10 a day.
my brother's law uh, uh, house down down the street here uh, it was built where the uh, black school was, grade school was, and right across here was the white school. Uh, right to uh, joining my property now was the white school, and we couldn't go to their school because they didn't want to go to ours anyway. Well, it was when I was young and I didn't didn't affect me too much, but I didn't like it because I didn't think it was right for the black to go one place and the white go the other, and then part time you couldn't even uh, you know get a place to stay. And they all had separate buses to ride on. I mean, uh, and I remember when they said it was going to be integrated. The one lady, her father used to be an undertaker, and uh, she said before she would let her children ride on there with the black children, she'd keep them home. But it didn't happen that way. By the time they uh, was integrated, she was driving the bus and she was driving some of them to school herself. We had a, had a hard way to go. We couldn't. The white, white people to the front. They could have had to sit to the back. And uh, I don't know what. Let's see. They had uh, stalls and all. You could go in, and each had to go back and get uh, food to the back, stand back, and get your food to the back. And uh, sometimes they did more to wait on you. World War One. I. I think the war was over in 18, I mean 1918. We was kind of scared because we thought we'd take Papa in it, but they didn't. She had a son that was in the in the war. Wood was rationing. We could only get so much. When he came back and he gave all of the uh, older children five dollar gold piece because. Uh, Gold money was in circulation then, and the rest of us got two dollar and a half gold pieces. 